Are you looking to take a vacation soon? Don't you wish there was a place where you could enjoy beautiful beaches, delicious food and drinks, exciting museums, and enjoy the charming small city vibe found throughout America? Well, you've got to visit Oceanside, California. It's one of California's most charming cities, and it's one you don't want to miss. It's a great place for solo travelers, couples, and groups. Let's look at the top things to do in Oceanside, California. Number 1. Walk Along the Pier the first thing you should do is walk along the pier. You'll likely want to visit the pier a few times during your trip. You can ride a sailboat from the pier or even use it as a place to fish. It's also a great place for enjoying a meal at a restaurant or buying snacks. The pier is a great place to visit if you need to sit and plan your trip. Before you head back home, you might want to stop by the pier to reflect upon your trip to Oceanside. At the pier, you'll also get to meet locals and tourists alike. It reflects the energy and vibrancy that the rest of the city has to offer. Before we tell you more about the best things to do in Oceanside, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Number 2. Visit the Park One of the best places to visit in Oceanside is the Guajome Regional Park. You can visit the park for a day or even camp there for a weekend. It's a great place to enjoy nature, go bird watching, or hiking. There are also ponds if you wish to go fishing. The park is also only a few miles away from the Pacific Ocean. It's a great way to escape from the busyness of Oceanside for a few hours or a couple days. You'll love the incredible nature of the park and it's a great way to bond with your fellow travelers. If you're traveling solo, it's a great way to relax your mind and reflect on your journey. Number 3. Hit the Beach no trip to California is complete without a visit to the beach. In Oceanside, you should stop by Harbor Beach. It's a sandy beach that also has a long boardwalk to accompany it. You'll also find a playground, volleyball nets, and picnic areas on the beach. If you're into fishing, Harbor Beach is yet another great spot in Oceanside to catch some fish. There's enough space for both swimmers and surfers as well. It's a great place for solo travelers, couples, groups, or families. If you're traveling with your children, visiting Harbor Beach is a must. Apart from Harbor Beach, you can also check out Tyson Street Beach. This is near the Oceanside Pier and is a quieter beach. It's great if you want to get away from the madness of the city and is especially great if you're traveling with children. There's a playground for the kids and plenty of picnic tables to enjoy your lunch or dinner on. Number 4. Go to the Markets Oceanside has two great markets you have to visit. One is the Oceanside Farmer's Market. It's a great market that attracts locals and tourists. You can buy produce, baked goods, and other popular food items. There are also artisanal crafts available for purchase from the various vendors. You can also try delicious food at the market. It's held every Thursday night at downtown Oceanside. You should also visit the Sunset Market, especially if you're traveling with your family. It's a great place to enjoy food and drinks as well as live music. There are occasional events held at the market, so you want to make sure you do your research beforehand to plan for them. The markets are great for enjoying a day out with your group and is a great place to see the Oceanside residents in action. Here you'll see the incredible community spirit, which is what makes Oceanside a great place to visit and live in. Number 5. Visit the Museums Oceanside is a great city for museum buffs. You can visit the Heritage Park Village and Museum where you can learn about what life was like in Oceanside during the past. This two-acre park was actually the town center of Oceanside at one point. It's a great place to step back in time and see what an old American town looked like and what life was like for earlier generations of Americans. If you're an art lover, you'll love visiting the Oceanside Museum of Art. You'll see contemporary art exhibitions as well as film screenings and live concerts. It's also a great place to enjoy discussions on art as well as educational events. California is, of course, known for its surfing culture. And what better way to celebrate surf culture than by visiting the California Surf Museum? Here you'll learn about the incredible surf culture as well as the history of some of our greatest surfers. Number 6. Grab a Bite Don't worry, we didn't forget about the many food options in Oceanside. If you love seafood, you should check out the Hello Betty Fish House. It's a rooftop lounge where you can enjoy seafood and margaritas. It's a great place to visit in the early afternoon so you can soak up the sun and enjoy the views. If you're traveling with your partner or a group of friends, it's easily one of the best restaurants to visit. And if you can't get enough seafood, you can't go wrong with sushi. It's a modern restaurant where you can enjoy sushi in a fine dining experience. It's also great for cocktails and fine wines. If you want a break from seafood, why not dive into a delicious pizza? You can stop by Privateer's Pizza to enjoy pizzas made in coal oven. It's a great place to eat indoors as well as outdoors, on the patio. 
Apart from pizzas, you can also enjoy sandwiches, salads, and soups. There's also a generous selection of beers to sample. If you're looking for coffee, you can hardly do better than the Beach Break Cafe. There's much more than coffee over there, actually. It's a great place where you can enjoy traditional American breakfasts as well as desserts. If you walk around Oceanside, you'll find many great restaurants offering a diverse range of cuisines. Sample as much as you can. Number 7. Have a drink. Oceanside is also a great place for coffee, cocktails, craft beer, and wine tastings. You can start by paying a visit to Legacy Brewing Company. This is a brewery where you can sample different craft beers as well as enjoy live music. The flavors of beer have a European influence. They're inspired by beers from the British Isles, Ireland, Belgium, Germany, and Russia. It's the perfect place to visit if you're traveling to Oceanside with your partner or with a group of friends. If you love wine, you've got to visit the Beach House Winery. This is a vineyard where you can enjoy a variety of wines by scheduling a wine tasting session over the weekend. It's a great way to meet tourists and locals alike if you're a solo traveler. And if you travel with a group, this will easily be one of the best memories you'll make together. Number 8. Go Whale Watching Undoubtedly one of the most fascinating aspects of life in California is the opportunity to go whale watching. You can book an excursion where you and other locals and tourists can ride on a boat to watch the whales make an appearance. These tours can also be arranged for private parties. You can also charter boats for sport fishing or general exploring. This is easily one of the best experiences you'll have during your trip to Oceanside. Even if you're usually a landlubber, there's something serene about sailing on the beautiful Pacific Ocean and enjoying the majesty of Mother Nature. Number 9. Visit the Prince of Peace Abbey As you're ready to wind down your trip, you might want to revisit your favorite restaurant in Oceanside. Perhaps you want one more stroll on the pier, and maybe you need to soak up a few more rays at the beach. But you should also consider visiting the Prince of Peace Abbey. This is a Benedictine monastery home to several months. It's a great place to feel at peace and learn about the spiritual aspect of life. You can also book accommodation at the abbey if you want to experience the quiet seclusion for a night or two. As you enjoy the serenity you'll feel when visiting the Abbey, you can also reflect upon your trip to Oceanside. We know you'll have a great trip and you'll be wanting to revisit again in the future. We wish you bon voyage. So, are you ready to book your trip to Oceanside, California? What are you looking forward to the most? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation for more. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.